Hi, I'm Tam with the Scove with your solar storm forecast update for January 15th. The sun has gotten quite busy in the past couple days, beginning with this filament eruption that happened just east of center sun on the 12th, and that launched a partially Earth-directed solar ejection. Also, you see region 2257, it's been lighting off M flares just before it rotates behind the west limb. And we're going to be monitoring that region very closely as it transits the backside over the next two weeks. Returning to that partially Earth-directed solar storm, this is NOAA's version of the prediction model Enlil. The top panel's density, the bottom panel's velocity, and you can see that solar storm as it grazes by Earth to the east. We're expecting kind of a glancing blow or we're late on the 15th, but we're not expecting any major disruptions, just some minor disruptions, uh, most likely at high latitudes. Looking at our solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities over the next few days, NOAA has given us about a 40% chance of a major storm at high latitudes with this solar storm hitting us on the 15th, and it is lingering effects through the 17th. At mid-latitudes, it's more like a 30% chance for active conditions, so there is aurora possible down at mid-latitudes, but these effects should fade over the next few days. But we aren't expecting total uh, quiet at the end, near the, uh, through the weekend, because we are expecting a very weak high-speed stream to come through and that might keep active conditions or at least unsettled conditions uh, into the beginning of next week. Switching to your solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook over the next few days, region 2257 is rotating off into the west limb right now, so NOAA will be lowering uh, the M flare risk from about 40% down to about 30% over the next few days as that region rotates out of view. We still have region 2259 to contend with, so we haven't completely lost our M flare risk. And also in the next two or three days, there's a new region that's been growing quite rapidly on the backside that will be rotating into view, so it wouldn't surprise me if NOAA raises that M-flare risk again uh, at the beginning of the week. We don't, however, seem to have much of a chance for a particle radiation storm at this point, so NOAA has keep, kept its uh, levels at normal, and we look like we're all in the clear. So the next few days look like it might be a little bit of an uptick in activity. We do have that glancing solar storm blow that's going to happen on the 15th, late on the 15th and into the 16th. It's probably not going to be a huge uh, impact, but we might see a bit of the shock wave that extends beyond the solar storm as well as a little bit of a wake effects. And that might cause some disruptions with GPS units, let's say at, at high latitudes. Uh, you ham radio operators, you might see a little bit of disruptions in your uh, communications over the next couple days and then that should die down a bit. Also, uh, we're expecting to have a little bit of a die down in uh, M flare activity because region 2257 is now rotating behind the limb and we're not going to expect to see a whole lot more uh, activity until a new region rotates into view in the next two to three days. So enjoy that break. Uh, but meanwhile, we might actually get some aurora, hopefully down to mid-latitudes uh, during this solar storm over the next couple days or so. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.